extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In this week's climate classroom, two devastating floods in two days. This morning, a biblical flood in Hazard, Kentucky. Homes were washed away. Roads completely destroyed. At least three people have died so far. And on Tuesday in St. Louis, Missouri, just two days ago, they experienced a similar deluge closing Interstate 70. Now, in both areas, nine inches of rain fell in about 12 hours. While that may seem somewhat common in the Tampa Bay area, for most of the nation, that much rain in such a short period of time can be devastating. That's because unlike Florida, most regions do not have porous soil, and that forces the rain to run off and flood. Add to that hilly terrain, and it's a recipe for disaster. So let's examine what happened. First, this is the radar from Hazard. That's right there, Hazard, Kentucky this morning. Rain, kind of what we call training, moving over the same area over and over again. And when you see the purple, that's as much as 9 to 10 inches of rain. That should only happen once every few thousand years. That's how heavy this rain event was over just a 12-hour time period. And two days ago in St. Louis, same thing, a training effect where these heavy downpours keep moving over the same area. In St. Louis, this was once every 200 or once every 300 year event straight through this strip you see in purple. You can see the uh, legend right there. So it, it rarely ever happens. But people are often saying to me, well, these one in 100 year or one in 1,000 year events, they seem to be happening all the time. Well, one of the reasons is you're exposed to a lot more media, right? So you're a lot more aware of it. But it's also because of climate change. The atmosphere is warming up. We know exactly what's happening. For every one degree increase in temperature, we see 4% more moist wa moisture and water vapor in the atmosphere, and that dumps uh, heavier rainfall. We've seen our water vapor increase across the United States by 10% plus. And as a result, the heaviest rain events, the heaviest downpours, are now somewhere around 50% heavier across the Great Lakes and Northeast and around 25% heavier in the Southeast. We see this in Hazard in Kentucky. Look at that upward trend in rain rates. But not just there, also in St. Louis, it's an upward trend. And how about the Tampa Bay area? You guessed it, an upward trend. Our heaviest rain events are becoming heavier here in the Bay Area and across a lot of the United States. If you want more information, more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.